Hello and welcome to the next tutorial, tutorial 9, in which we're going to look at how to create 3D text in Blender. First off, open a new Blender project and delete the default cube by pressing X and then selecting Delete from the menu. Add some text to your project by pressing Shift A or using the Add drop down menu in the info panel of your interface. New text is always added as a flat, two-dimensional object at first. Press 7 and then 5 on the number pad to view the text from top view orthographic. Press tab to enter edit mode on the text, ensuring that it's selected first, and then use the delete or backspace key to remove the word text, and then type 3D typography, or any other words that you'd like to try out for your first test of Blender's 3D type tools. Press tab again to get back to object mode. The text is currently two dimensional. To make it 3D, we need to make some changes in the properties tab. The properties panel always changes depending on which object you have selected. So if you have a camera selected, the properties panel will show options specifically related to the camera. If you have a lamp selected, it will show options to change the lamp properties. Likewise, when you have text selected, the properties panel gives you text property options. Click on the text tab in the properties panel to start making changes. Under the heading geometry, increase the extrude slider to about 0.15 to create 3D text. Increase the amount of bevel or offset to blend the edges of the text more smoothly. Increase the resolution to increase the quality and smoothness of the blending even more. You can push it up to about 2. Experiment with the depth slider to make the text look chunkier, but be careful of letters overlapping on top of one another if you increase the depth too much. Under the font heading, click the folder icon and navigate to the font that you wish to use on your computer's hard drive. So Blender works a little bit differently than other packages in this regard. You've got to tell it where to find the font that you want to use. On a Mac, your fonts will usually be located under System, Library, Fonts. On a PC, they'll usually be on your C drive under Windows, Fonts. You can also download and use countless high quality fonts for free from uh, many websites, but one that I would recommend is dafont.com. That's D A F O N T.com. And those are free and available for use in various projects. You can add and manipulate in Blender any font that you have installed on your computer. Materials and colors can be added to text in the same way as other objects. For example, select your text and open up the materials tab. Change the color to blue and the text becomes blue. Under the paragraph heading, you have complete control over the typographic elements of your 3D text, such as adjusting the character spacing, the word spacing, and the line spacing. So this has been a very brief introduction to get you started with 3D typography in Blender.